Look at this one, it's beautiful. Look, there's all different colored greens. Please don't get too upset with me in the comments. It's really scary, isn't it, Philip, when you see it like this? They're so cute. We don't want the camera to fall, it doesn't matter if you fall. I hope people realize the risk you're putting me in. It's kind of gross, there's probably some animals that have made nests in here. There's the disaster. It's so empty without Nathan here. You want to get me killed? My name is Anna. I'm an English former fashion and textile designer. I moved to Paris, age 23, to work for the French couture house Bauman and stayed for the croissants, the wine, and of course for Philip, a filmmaker from the South Tyrolean Alps. After 10 amazing years, getting married, buying and renovating two homes and having two babies, we decided city life was no longer for us. Philip had been dreaming of buying a chateau since the day we met and finally convinced me to start looking. We came to visit Chateau gonville sur en fleur Despite being in quite poor condition and needing a complete renovation, we immediately fell in love. In May 2019, we got the keys to the chateau, our new home. With a tight budget, we had no choice but to do most of the renovations by ourselves. We're learning new skills as we go, building muscles we never knew we had, and getting creative to make the chateau as personal as possible whilst preserving its historic features. It's all part of this crazy family adventure and we wouldn't change it for anything. Hello. I'm using the shredder again, the Ferrari red shredder that you've seen a couple of weeks ago. And I'm gonna shred a couple of branches and use the mulch in the hostess bed. Now, if you think this is not very interesting, it's because it is not very interesting. But our vlog can't be always super exciting. I can't hang speakers on a wall every week, can I? There's always the moment where we don't know if the engine will start. And I think we could call this the highlight of this sequence. This is when the mechanism is blocked. I need a better stick. I told you it was boring, but at least it's done and that makes me happy. Here are my hostess and in one of the last vlogs, a lot of people commented and told us not to use fresh mulch on borders. And this is certainly true, but anyway, here, I don't want anything to grow for now because I don't have time to plant anything. So I kind of keep the mulch here. It can age here and when it's ripe, then I can Put it all over the place but for now it stays here and nothing should grow so please don't get too upset with me in the comments you know what i'm gonna do actually there's one hosta and i'm gonna circle around with fresh mulch there was also some people who said you can actually use fresh mulch and that it's a sort of an urban legend that you shouldn't use it but yeah we have our guinea pig hosta now let's come back in six months and see if she's still alive or he, or it. It's a gender neutral hosta. A they, them hosta. A lot of you have been requesting a tour of our outbuildings and you may have seen glimpses of them in some of our previous vlogs. So today we thought we would start by showing you two of our favorite. When we were first negotiating to buy the chateau, we were talking with the previous owner about buying the chateau and one of its outbuildings, which was the stables next to it. However, whilst we were negotiating, there was somebody else that came in and made a higher offer, 
but to buy everything, including the agricultural fields, these two long houses. But we were so in love with the chateau that we could not bear with the idea of losing it. So we made a big decision and that was to make a higher offer and buy the whole domain. And this meant that we had a much smaller renovation budget and our adventure became a DIY chateau renovation. Philip, could you ever imagine not having these buildings as part of the domain? No, I can't. These buildings are called longères, which translates to longhouses because they were traditionally built very thin and long. And they had a timber frame, often a thatched roof, and traditionally they were used to store cattle, feed, and even the workers would probably live in them. And they would have a stone base, and then the timbers would sit on top of them, and that was to stop the timbers from rotting, from getting wet. During the renovation of the chateau, we had a historian visit to have a look at the work we were doing on the facade. And whilst he was here, he couldn't help himself. He saw some of the outbuildings. So we did a little tour around here. And when he saw this one in particular, he got really excited because he thinks this one dates back to the 17th century and said it could even be older. These buildings have been left abandoned for many, many, many years. And it is full of rubbish, old Calvados barrels, bottles. And actually, we haven't had much time to even really look in here what there is. So there could even be treasure. We just don't know. Yeah. Cider from P of, of Pé d'Auge. Prinac. Maybe this is the type of cider. And then a Gonville sans fleur. Up until the 70s, the former owners we're producing cider and Calvados here at the Chateau. So these are all the old barrels that we use to store maybe the Calvados. There's also some old school books, a lot of old crates. And we tried to find Calvados bottle, didn't we, Anna? Yeah, unfortunately we didn't get very lucky. We found some old cider and we did try it and it was disgusting. Calvados gets better over time and cider doesn't. Now uh, here's a newspaper from 1991. Oh, look, there's our chateau. Maybe we should have this for an aperi this afternoon. What do you think? Well, I think you should have a go, and because you're more the cider type. I'm more red wine and champagne and beer. Uh, unfortunately, I think it might be a little bit past its sell-by date. But the label is nice. There's a lot of crates. You see these always getting sold in brocants, and it's kind of gross. There's probably some animals that have made nests in here, so. I kind of don't want to touch too much. I'm a little bit freaked out. But it's funny because it looks like somebody just abandoned it in the middle of a production cycle. Look, these barrels, they haven't been stored or anything. It's just like from one day to the other, they stopped. Do you think we can do something with these barrels? Yeah, I was thinking we could make them into a hot tub. Yeah. Or some planters. Look at these bottles. They have a really nice logo on it. Oh, that's nice. That's beautiful, isn't it? Look, here we have a small one. I was actually looking for some bottles to put my elderflower cordial in. Look at that one, Philip. It's beautiful. That's really nice. It's transparent. It's a bit wonky, but it makes, a, it, makes it special, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, what is this? Somebody's brooch. You found treasure. That is treasure. <laughs> yeah. It's really nice. It's really nice. I'm not sure what it would have been, a brooch or a lid of something. It looks I like it was a lid. a lid of something. Yeah. <gasps> Look at this one, it's beautiful. Look, there's all different colored greens. Wow, look at that one. Look at the shape. It's really nice. Isn't it? Wow, look at those. This is so exciting. This is just bottles, but... Just bottles, but they're just really beautiful. Look, you can see better if I put them in the light over here. A nice collection, isn't it? Yeah, we should take them to the chateau immediately. I think so. And there's more. Somebody obviously decided to collect them because they're all completely different. A little bit of colour in spray for the chateau, maybe, Philip? Why? Why? What colour would it be? Bottle green. <laughs> Bottle green. Anna, that wasn't the plan. We came here to show our viewers around the outbuildings, and now we're getting distracted. And yeah. Anna, look. What? I found this is super beautiful. Look. Wow. It's a tile. What is that? It looks like it's... A like a roof tile or something. A decorative... 
beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. Definitely, Philip, we have to make a cabin of curiosities of all the things that we find here. Oh, look. And that's another piece of... Uh... Oh, wow. Wow. It's even got some gold leafing on it. That's incredible. It's <gasps> part of a mirror or something. It's very big. It's chunk, big chunk of something. Um, an original moulding or... It's beautiful and it's just been sat here. We've been here for almost two years, Philip, and we just have not had any time to come in here and have a look. It's crazy. I didn't expect to find that, honestly. No. That's amazing. I love it. <gasps> Where does it come from? I have no idea. It looks really old. It looks like really baroque, like 18th century woodwork. I think there's even another piece of something here. Oh, yeah. Another bit of molding. It's really interesting. It is. Because there's nothing like that in the chateau, is there? Yeah, this definitely doesn't come from the Longere. No. So that means that one day we might uncover something even more exciting in here, Philip. This is just us scratching the surface in here. That's some, some part of how a tool looks dangerous. What's that? I don't know. It's nice. <laughs> I'm too excited. Look at this. A farming instrument, you think? Yeah. Look, a baby horseshoe. What? A baby horseshoe. I've never seen a baby horseshoe. Let's have a look. That is really cute. I know we haven't even seen one room of the outbuildings and we wanted to show two outbuildings. <laughs> well, but, we're a bit ambitious. So either this is becoming like a five hour vlog or we <laughs> need to be a bit quicker. A baby horseshoe. Love it. There's so many more things here. Okay. Right. Just, What is it? A duck. Okay. Oh, a pigeon <laughs> with horse. It's quite cute. <laughs> the girls would love it if I clean it up. It's like an old uh, parasol. It's a bit gross. It just smells a bit of cat pee or other than uh. that. A belt. Well, you were looking for a new belt, Philip. I was. The leather might be a little stiff, but... <laughs> it smells because this is a nest from some animal. Oh, Grace, we well, need to go wash our hands. Maybe it was just a cat. Let's say it's a cat. Let's a cat. hope it was a cat. It was a cat. It was a nice cat. Philip, what is that ladder behind you? Oh, this is to climb up to see the, the other floor. Is I think it this safe? is perfectly safe, yeah. <laughs> it doesn't feel safe. Do you want me to go up there? Yeah, it's better. It's okay. Careful. Don't stand up there though, just have a look. Do you want to pass me the camera? Yeah. Okay. Philip? Just the roof, the attic. It's probably not safe to go and walk up there though, no? Well, it's also not safe to stand on a ladder. It's a hundred year old ladder and doing the filming that I'm just doing right now. But. That's what we do for our vlog. Oh, it's beautiful. Is it? Well, it just looks really nice. It's a beautiful light. Well, there are these areas they need repair. I think it needs redoing completely, doesn't it? No, not the structure, not completely, but some of the beams need replacing because they're rotten. Oh, I, I just saw a um, um, bat. No. Yes. Oh, no. Well, of course there are bats living in here. I hate bats. And you can see there's light coming in there, for instance. And this is because the roof is leaking. Yeah, this is a bit of an emergency, Anna. Yeah? I think we have one or two years, then these beams might be so rotten that the roof just, you know, collapses. So I'm giving you the camera. Give me back the camera. Yeah. We don't want the camera to fall. It doesn't matter if you fall, but... Thank you. Can, can you give me a hand? Give me a hand. <laughs> Done. Good. Oh, there's a cable. This can be useful. Didn't you want an extension cable in your room? <laughs> Philip, look at the state of your trousers. Oh. It wasn't really clever to wear your black, your best black trousers. <laughs> I don't have any. I just, I wore them because we were supposed to make a guided tour and we ended up doing an archaeological dig. Right, let's have a look, maybe in the next part of the long journey. Eh? Yes. <gasps> look, the cows, the cows, get the cows. Go on, get the cows. They're really cute with the babies, look. 
The farmer's just come to drop off some nice fresh water, so the cows are all on the move. And we can say hello. I can see my see the bull. These cows are massive, and they are a breed called Race Normande. Our farmer actually takes them to shows, so these are prize-winning cows. And there's Martial under the tree. He's always kind of lagging behind the ladies. Sorry, Anna, I have to interrupt you for a moment because Nathan just came, and I think it's a perfect moment for a French lesson. With these beautiful cows and calves in the background, it's a perfect moment to make a French lesson about farm animals. Nathan, derrière nous, on a des vaches. Des vaches. Quels sont les mots que tu as en tête Quand je vois les vaches Quand tu vois les vaches. Un steak haché. Un steak haché. Un faux filet. Un faux filet. Et le plus important Une côte de bœuf. Une côte de bœuf. Merci. Ah. They're so cute. This is the next part, and unfortunately, it doesn't look as nice as the other one. So here, there's the disaster. It is pretty dangerous right in here. We shouldn't even be here because this part of the longhouse is in really precarious conditions. And the problem is that the thatch roof started leaking. The beams got wet and as soon as they get wet, you have dry rot and you have insects coming. And what happened here, they just snapped in the middle. I've installed a supporting pole because eventually all the walls will collapse, the outside walls will collapse towards the middle. So this will keep it up, I hope, for another couple of months to save the structure. I feel a bit bad because we put so much effort into the chateau, which obviously was our priority, but these buildings as well, they deserve to be restored and saved. It's really scary, isn't it, Philip, when you see it like this? It is. It kind of breaks my heart because it's such a beautiful building and these beams are so old. Yeah, we and really need to save it. And I don't think we have very long. No, we don't. It's pretty urgent. Actually, it's really urgent now. And that's why we have a plan. Yes. And Anna, what's the plan? If we can create a business from them and transform both of these two longères into gîtes that we can rent out, then we can finance the restoration and we can save them. One of the most urgent things, obviously, is to take care of the roof and to redo the roof. And originally we wanted to do it in slates because that's one of the traditional ways of roofing in this region and it's much cheaper than a thatched roof. But now, thanks to our Patreon community and the support of our patrons, we hope that within a year, we will be able to restore that roof as a thatched roof. And by that, keeping it as it was there for hundreds of years. We also know that for the villagers, this was always the longère, the longhouse with the thatched roof. So it would make us really proud, I think, Anna, if we would be able to reinstall a thatched roof and save this building and this heritage for that community. That's such a, an exciting development, isn't it, Philip? So something we never thought would be possible. It's going to look beautiful. As you can see, this part is an extension and I think it's probably a 19th century extension. No, it's not one extension, there's two extensions. There's one extension here and there's another extension here, can you see? Yeah. Because this is the, this was probably the original end of the building, 17th, 16th century, we don't know. And then this has been added. And at one point they didn't have enough space and they added even more this part. I love it, it's the higgledy piggledy longere. Yeah, it makes it so special, doesn't it? Yeah. As they installed these windows and this type of door, that means that people lived here and this was for the animals. Let's go and have a look. Hello. No, nobody in there. Look at this. That's like this beautiful. Key. It's just a, a repairs and reuse of materials and it's quite nice. It's beautiful. Maybe we can keep it. So there's a different floor here. The rest of the longere sits directly on the soil, on the ground. Whereas here, there's an empty space underneath this floor to prevent moisture to come up. It looks pretty good there, but just over here, Oh. <laughs> Don't start looking, Philip, because we'll get distracted again. So yeah, I'm sure we could find... Oh, what's that? 
Look, 80s, an 80s magazine. Oh. We're getting distracted again, Philip. Philip! Philip, it's pretty scary because when you have a look at that wall, there yep. is a massive crack. I'm not too worried about that crack. Are you not? No. It's only going along like the whole of the wall. Yeah. As long as these beams are healthy, then they will hold the whole building together. Yeah. But they are not, unfortunately. This one as well needs to be, you can see this as well, some merule, some... Merule is like a... Dry rot. Dry rot. Yeah. We might need Benoit then. Oh yes, yeah, a lot of Benoit here needed. But it's exciting. I'm excited to think about this really, really derelict place becoming a home again. I think it would be beautiful. Yeah. The main challenge when you transform these buildings into habitable buildings is that they are quite dark. There's not many openings, so we certainly have to transform all these doors into window doors, glass doors. And we have to open up the roof to have some light coming in through the roof as well. But there's one nice opening, and that's on this side, which we will certainly reuse. For some reason, sometimes it's open, sometimes it's shut, and I think it's the wind that opens it and shuts it. And there's no way up there for us to go up there and shut it. It's a bit dangerous to climb up there, so... We could go and get the ladder. Go and get that little ladder and you can go and have a look what's up there. You want to get me killed? <laughs> I thought it was not killing your partner. Uh, what was that? That was the first season. Oh, uh, yeah. Next season is how to efficiently kill your partner. Come on, you can do it. Go okay. get it. I hope people realise the risk you're putting me in. This is a scary one, so I need to step here. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> okay. Okay, that was a... yeah. Okay. It's done. Well... No, Philip, it's done. Yeah. Do you want me to go up there? No, I don't think so. No, maybe... I think it's done. Maybe it's done. I had another one for a tree, but I think it was a similar... Yeah, I think we should one. invest in a ladder, maybe. Or just get one from the shadow, it's so far away. I know. All right. Let's take, the, take it out of the way, because otherwise the kids try it. <laughs> so what's the new title of our vlog? How to kill your husband whilst renovating a chateau? Yeah, that sounds yeah, pretty good. It. That sounds good. It's not like we've finished renovating the chateau yet, but we can't help ourselves. This needs to be saved and it's very urgent. So we are very excited that we are now going to be starting on this project and taking you guys along with us. <gasps> Hello! Hello, my sweetheart. How was school? Oh. How are you doing? What's that? It's a bit dangerous in there, Ella. Can you see? You can... Look, you can look from afar. It's full of cobwebs and dirty. Yuck! And there must be... Bees? Yeah. Mm, I don't think we've got any bees in there, but lots of spiders. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> Is it scary? Yeah, but it's got that in there. Cobwebs? Cobwebs. <laughs> and the last part of the longere, you might remember it. Don't worry, we don't keep any volunteers in here anymore. Oh, I think the door might need a bit of repair. So empty without Nathan here. It's got a great view as well. You can see the chateau from here. It's really beautiful in this part of the Longere because it's the only place where we can see the full height of the roof. And this is what we want to do with the central part of the Longere when we transform it into a jeep. We like the idea of having it all open right up to the roof. So it will have this cathedral-like feeling. I mean, a small cathedral. There's even a horseshoe in here, Philip. Have you seen this? I think they must have put it there to maybe tie up animals or something. And have you seen here this beam, yeah. which is on top of these beams? And apparently this is a structural technique that dates back before the 16th century. So I don't know, it might be there by a coincidence, but I definitely think we need to dig deeper into the history of this building because this could be really, really old.
We said we would show you both long houses, but we got distracted and we showed you only one. Now it's a bit late and we have to go back to the chateau to work on the fourth guest room. But we'll promise you the next long house and all the other outbuildings, we will show them to you very soon. this episode don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button for exclusive videos and behind the scenes updates have a look at our patreon page thank you so much for watching